Turn me up. Turn me up! Oh! Your internet, no! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop playing Ring Around Rosie. You did now what's happening? Dude, I thought I got fucking temporarily banned or something, bro. My heart fucking sank. I thought I got temp banned on top of my shadow ban. Bro, this game's fucking ass. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, it is The Rick. Welcome to a brand new YouTube video, and I'm very excited to bring this one to you guys because I feel like a lot of you people out there, a lot of you sweats just like me have been experiencing this problem, this insane situation for the past few weeks. Now, the first two clips you guys saw were from one stream, an hour and a half long stream, and on each of those clips, I was absolutely going crazy into the gameplay, and of course, Call of Duty servers out of nowhere crash on me. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I pay $95 a month for my Xfinity contract and gain the best internet I can get. I get 1,200 download, 200 upload. So let's just say it's not my internet. I'm telling you right now, it's not. But before we talk about this whole entire video, if you haven't subscribed, the fuck you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Let's go. So the gameplay you're watching here is from my alt account. Absolutely going crazy. Put a striker class together. It's one of those bot lobbies that are just going to be just going to happen with these new accounts. So don't call me a freaking VPN reverse booster. It's not me. It's a new lobby. I'm like level 25 in this video. Get off my ass. But Call of Duty, man, I don't know what is going on with them. I don't know why they are hating Sweat so much. I understand it could be annoying. Call of Duty, I know the devs are probably terrible at this game. I understand that they might get a little frustrated that they can't be this good. But why the fuck do they continue to think that they can just take you out of the game whenever you're going crazy? I have had multiple gameplays where I was on a 20 plus kill streak, okay? And out of nowhere, they just feel like, nope, this is not a skill based match lobby anymore. He is he is way too high of a level for the rest of these people. We need to get him the fuck out of here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't experienced this for all the months the game's been out, but the past few weeks, probably three to two weeks, I cannot believe how obvious this has gotten because it is happening on the daily. They put me in a lobby, it might be a little too sweaty, so it's like an average, you know, 1.5 to 2 KD gameplay. So that's fine, that's, they got the skill-based match, making the EOMM, whatever the fuck you want to call it, they got that all correct. But then sometimes they put me in a lobby where I'm dropping 3, 4 KDs because the guys just can't reach with my level. They can't get the movement, they can't get the guns correct, they don't have the right attachments like the Rick does. And out of nowhere, after I'm starting to drop them, and I don't know if it's just because I'm getting reported or if because it literally shows that it's just not fair, they take me out of the freaking game and they say, hey, nah, ah. I'm going to disconnect you, you got to restart your game, and come on back. I just can't believe the attack of good players on Call of Duty. I can't believe that Activision thinks that it's okay to do this because it's so blatantly obvious. And I want to hear in the comment section down below. All the sweats out there, I'm reaching out to you, I'm calling you, I'm doing my mating call. Ah! I need to hear, I need to know, is this happening to you on the daily? Because it's happening to me and it's so obvious when it happens. It's never when I'm getting freaking destroyed or when I only have a round of 1.52 KD. It's always when I'm absolutely going crazy and the lobbies just aren't fair. I'm not reverse boosting. I'm not doing any of that bullshit because I don't need to because I know that I have to get better. So I want to play in these competitive lobbies from time to time. And obviously sometimes I get the decent lobbies where I'm like, all right, I can go a little crazy. These guys aren't as good as the other ones. But just let me know down in the comments, man. I need to know how many of you guys are experiencing this. I need to know how many of you people out there who are the sweats, who have buckets underneath their ball sack to collect the ball sweat after the game is finished. I need to hear, is this happening to you? Because it's so obvious it is. I don't know why Call of Duty has made this turn. I don't know why Call of Duty, Activision, everybody in charge over there in California, the wonderful state of California, snowflake country out there. I don't know why they think it's all right to take people who have just played this game for years. 15 plus years for me, ladies and gentlemen. Since I was nine years old, I have been playing Call of Duty. I've had, I've been obsessed with it. For some reason, I am just addicted to this game. I don't know if it's just the sound effect in this game. Whenever you kill somebody with a suppressor, like in this gameplay, and you hear that little... Probably not what it sounds like, but you guys know what I mean. The sound effect of when you get a kill, it, it sounds good, it feels good, it makes you feel great when you go on kill streaks. It makes you want to keep on playing. I don't know, that's just me, ladies and gentlemen. But I just can't believe, out of nowhere, Activision just thinks it's all right or thinks that nobody like us are going to notice that they're trying to fuck with us. They're trying to make sure that we can't go too crazy because they want the other people in those games to not have to rage quit and go play something else. 
But I'm sorry, that's not how the world works. That's not how a video game should work. If I am better at somebody at Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm better than the majority of people. I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I just know that I've been playing this game for a long time and I know how to use the movement, especially when I am so cracked out on ADHD and so much ghost energy drinks inside me. I just know that I'm gonna be ready to go. But I just can't believe it. I cannot believe that they can get away with this BS. I cannot believe that they can just think that, hey, us sweats, they ha we have to calm down a little bit, man. We have to make sure that we have always a 1.52 KD, but everyone else can enjoy themselves. Everyone else can make sure that they can do their thing while us, from time to time, are going to get kicked from a lobby. Man, all this stuff started in 2019. I don't know why it was such a big trend to make things or make video games a safe place or safe space, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's like this in college now, too. I was in college when Call of Duty Mario Warfare came out, the original, 2019. And this is when it really started to, like, show in, like, broad daylight extremely bad how soft this game, this country, everything about this is gotten. You can't see the enemy deaths until the end of the game. You can't talk to them and say they're a baby back bitch without getting combat. You cannot do anything in this game to hurt anyone's feelings because that's how it works in life. You're not allowed to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, freedom of speech is not a thing in Call of Duty. But man, what has gotten into Activision to now take away good players' gameplays? I'm not even worried about it for content. I don't give two fucks. I could just make videos like this on it because we all know Activision is a dirty-ass company. But I'm just saying, when we are just playing the game off-stream, off, off OBS, not trying to record a video... If I'm doing good, why is it fair? If we're talking about being fair, if we're talking about having a fair lifestyle, having a fair gaming experience, how is it fair to kick me out... Every time I do good. Never happens when I do bad. Absolutely never happens when I do bad. It doesn't happen every time I do good because that'd be too obvious. You know, Activision thinks we're a little smart so we could kind of see what's going on here. But, uh, no, false, Activision. I am stupid smart, crazy smart, smarter than you'll ever be. I could fix this game, but you cannot because you're not smart. You're dumb. You think you're smart. You're not. But, like, literally, it's so obvious how it happens, and I know every sweat that watches this video, I know every decent player that watches this video is going to be like, yeah, Rick, it's happened to me too the past few weeks as well. It even happens to somebody that is the other host. In that first clip you saw, I wasn't even the host of the gameplay. He was the host. There was no reason to leave that game. We were both going crazy, and he had to leave or get kicked because of servers being disconnected the fuck we doing what do you mean servers got disconnected everything was going fine it's 2024 this is not how the internet works i don't know man activision is just the biggest joke of a company and it is so obvious here and i can't wait to continue to expose them i'm not i don't need them on my good side why the fuck would i need them on my good side it's a waste of time. All the top content streamers, all the real cheaters out there, they can be on the side of Activision. I don't care. Go take the money. I ain't doing this for money. I'm doing this to be right. I'm doing this like to be a normal person, to make this game try to be better. But of course, unfortunately, Activision doesn't want to do that. They just want to stuff money in their pockets. They want to have a freaking baby back bitch holiday every single time the game comes out and then worry about the shit later. Ah, it is what it is. I'm, I'm over it now. Oh my god, but I'm here to expose them, and I hope everyone else has experiences like this. Let me know down in the comments below, and just let me know, is this a real thing for you guys, or am I tweaking? Other than that, man, you guys have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!